This is the front cover of our Coptic stitch book. What I've done here is I've glued on a piece of scrap leather right onto the board. And originally my design was going to come out a little bit more onto the cover and it ended up being smaller. So I actually had lots of that excess leather on there, but that's okay. We're going to pull this off anyway. Uh, this is sort of how I started my designs. Just kind of drew what I might have wanted on there. When I found a size I liked for the petals, I cut it out and used that as a template and kind of hand drew the rest of it. Once I have the design drawn on, I took a knife, an X-Acto knife, and cut around the outside edges of my design. You'll want to make sure that you go right through the leather, but not the bookboard. The first layer of bookboard will come up since it's glued to the leather, but more than that shouldn't come up. Once you have all of the cuts made, you'll go ahead and rip off the excess leather. Making sure that all of your cuts are right. I just start from the edges and kind of pull towards the middle. Some of your leather will come up, such as right here on the petal where I, you want to glue this back down. Once you get to this point, you want to make sure that you take your bone folder and all of these areas where the bookboard is uneven, that will actually show through the leather. So you want to make sure that you smooth it all down. And you just press it down hard enough that it goes away. If you have really rough areas, it might actually be best to pull it away a little bit and to kind of gradually lead it back up to the top of the board. Make sure to glue all the little pieces down that might have come up as you're pulling the rest of the leather away. You don't want any dried glue clumps around the outside edges because that will show through the leather on the outside.